All right, internet, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. Y'all suck at Sonos, specifically when it comes to understanding how speakers can function together. And just like any other superhero, I wanna fix it. This video will have two parts. Part one, unraveling the two speaker combining methods. We'll dive headfirst into the two distinct methods of combining speakers, highlighting what sets them apart and why it matters. Part two, a step-by-step -step Sonos home theater configuration demo that incorporates both combination methods. By the end of this video, I hope to equip you with enough knowledge so you can get more juice out of your existing Sonos components, improve future purchase decisions, or at the very least, enhance fertility wow, rates. Wow, wow. So get ready to level up your Sonos game. Let's dive in. So let's dig deeper into the two ways that Sonos products can work together. The first is pairing, the second, grouping. Pairing combines multiple Sonos components into a single entity. A stereo pair consists of two speakers, left and right, while a more complex setup involves a home theater with a soundbar, rear speakers, and a subwoofer. Despite their differences in complexity, both configurations act as a unit akin to a single speaker. And just like a single speaker, you give a pairing a unique name, typically the room in which it resides. When components are paired, all the components work together to play different parts of the same audio source. Think ballroom dancing, one dance performance, multiple dancers. So if you have a stereo pair, you can't get the left speaker to play the Beatles and the right to play Rolling Stones. The left plays Beatles left and the right plays Beatles right. There are rules about which speakers can pair with one another. Some examples. If you want stereo, both speakers need to be the exact same model and generation. Though they don't need to be the same color, so Sonos is not opposed to ugly. If you want to add rear speakers to your soundbar, both rears will need to be the exact same model. The outdoor speakers, so two moves or two roams, can form stereo pairs, but are not eligible to be rear speakers. Indoor speakers can pair with a sub. The outdoor speakers, again, move and roam, can't. To pair speakers in the Sonos app, go to settings, which is the cog icon here, system, select a speaker of interest, and find out what you can add. The pairing process may take a few minutes of waiting around, but once paired, they are very well synced, a tight bond indeed. While a pairing is largely treated like a single speaker or unit, in some pairings, like home theater, you can alter, to some degree, individual speakers' volumes, like bass level and rear speaker volume. But otherwise, pairing is treated no different than a single speaker. Okay, the second connection type, grouping. For the purpose of this discussion, I will be calling both individual speakers and pairings units, as both can be grouped in the same way. Grouping is when one unit replicates, mimics, plays in parallel the audio being played by another unit, most likely in a different room. So not ballroom dancing, line dancing. This is a far less formal partnership that can easily be created and broken in a few seconds. To group units, you go to your unit list, so find the vertical lines here, find a unit you want to group with another, press the share icon and select the unit you want to add to the group, and press done. Easy. Okay, so to reinforce these concepts and to offer more transparency into my last video, I will go through the setup process of the really intriguing but completely unsanctioned Sonos system I reviewed in my previous video, which as a reminder is a grouping of a home theater pairing, including an ARC, two subs, and two ERA 300s as rears, and an ERA 300 stereo pair up front. So the home theater pairing is grouped with the ERA 300 stereo pair. Hope that makes sense. Okay, so I gave all the speakers that make up this mega setup descriptive names to help you follow along. I am assuming all these components have already been added to the network and are available for use. Okay, so let's build our home theater pairing first. Let's go to settings, system, select home theater soundbar, and add the home theater rears. I'll choose home theater rear one, and then two. Select the one making sound so Sonos knows which one is right and left, and let it do its pairing thing. 
Next, I'll add Home Theater Sub 1. Then Home Theater Sub 2. Doody doo. I have my five-piece home theater pairing, now treated by Sonos as a single unit. I will name it Home Theater Demo. If you have an iOS device, you should probably take the option to room tune the system with TruePlay. Anyway, at this point, I have a very nice soundbar system, but since I'm broken and always need more, let's keep it going. Now I will create my stereo pair that I will put up front, which involves stereo pair front one and two. So I'll go to settings and system and select stereo pair front one and select Setup Stereo Pair. My only option is Stereo Pair Front 2 as all the other 300s, which are now rears, are off the market. Select which one is making the tone so it knows which is right and left. Let it do its pairing thing. And then again, I recommend True playing it. Let's name this pairing Front Stereo Pair Demo. Okay, so now we have two units, the home theater, which is the soundbar and the rears and the subs, and the ERA 300 stereo pair. Now all we need to do is group these units. So select this vertical lines icon, find home theater demo, and press the share button and add front stereo pair demo. Press done. To get both playing sounds from the TV, press the music notation icon to choose source and select TV here towards the bottom. There we have it, two entities grouped. You can control the two units volume together or independently. You can also adjust EQ independently like this. Okay, a bit more advice. In this scenario, I suggest you choose two settings options in Home Theater Demo. So let's go to Settings, System, Home Theater Demo, scroll down, and set TV Auto Play to On. So when TV starts, the grouping will auto play sound. Next, I suggest untoggling the ungroup during auto play. This means that other units you have grouped with the home theater demo setup, like the 300 stereo pair, will stay grouped and not get kicked out during autoplay. All right, gonna wrap this up. I hope I brought some clarity to the Sono speaker cooperation issue as it is a bit more complicated than you might think. Please help me meet my 20K sub goal by 2024 so YouTube doesn't shut me down for being too depressing. Thanks for watching, catch you on the next one.